Achieving self-reliance, sustainability, and independence just isn't right for you. So shut up, sit down, and listen to what you're told. Here's seven reasons why going off-grid just isn't right for you. One, paying bills gets you out of bed in the morning. Face it, getting up and going to work gets you through the week. What are you gonna do? Be a hippie homesteader? Be a farmer? Find a dream that motivates you? You have no interests, no skills, and no drive. Without the fear of being fired, you would just lay around in bed all day. The only difference between you and a homeless person or a 500 pound shut-in is the horrible job that you go to day in and day out. What about reading great literature? What about raising your kids the way they ought to be raised? What about finding a deeper meaning in life? That will never happen to you. Some people are meant to do great things. Some people are meant to have a joyous and meaningful life. But those people aren't you. If you were meant for great things, you would already know it. Two, other people know better than you. The government, corporations, and institutions have your best interests at heart. They do everything they can to keep you happy and safe. Why would you leave all that behind? Ultimately, the millionaires that are funded by billionaires know a lot more about how to live your life than you do. The best thing you could possibly do for yourself is quit asking questions, put your head down, and be confident that everything you deserve will come of its own accord. Believe everything that you're told by the media, politicians, and academics, because they are entirely selfless and much better informed than you will ever be about anything. And worst of all, by doing something different than the mainstream, you face ridicule from people who know nothing about you or what you're trying to do with your life. Three, you live for retirement. The best thing that you can hope for in life is a long retirement. Adulthood is something like a horrible nightmare shoved in between old age and childhood. The faster you can get past it, the better. Every day, the trying circumstances and grind of employment are the penance you pay for the freedom you had as a child and the hopeful freedom you will have as a retired person. Someday, you will once again be able to break the routine, maybe buy an RV, travel the country, spend times in the woods with your children and grandchildren, if they aren't stuck working like you, maybe go fishing, wouldn't that be nice? Eventually, you have the money and free time to do anything that you want, but that isn't now, not yet. Four, nature scares you. Nature is full of gross things, death, manure, bugs. The farther away from that you can be, the better. Oh, you know these things are inevitable, that something had to die to have the bacon that you eat in the morning, but you'd much rather someone else take care of that. You don't want to think about how the things you enjoy on a daily basis came about or what the true cost is. You know that with just the slightest provocation, people will buy the stores out down to the shelves until there's nothing left. But you'd prefer the danger you know to the unknown worries of keeping a garden or raising your own animals. Compost your poop? You'd rather die than go without indoor plumbing or a flush toilet for a single day. Five, you hate the idea of hard work. Growing food? Isn't that for foreigners or poor people? You have an office job specifically because you don't stoop down to the level of working with your hands or acquiring intrinsically valuable skills. Your parents raise you to make good money and live a nice suburban life. So what if your job is unfulfilling? So what if your job ought to be automated or just outsourced entirely? Just so long as you're able to eke out a comfortable living while doing as little as humanly possible, then you're living the dream. While others may say that living off-grid is joyful, that enjoying the labor of your own two hands is a reward in itself, that knowing where your food, power, and heat come from is the best security, you just don't buy it. If you can go your whole life without ever striving for something or working to build something, then while you may not be happy, at least you won't have suffered. Six, you trust the corporations with your life. Corporations and the people who run them are the most selfless people on the planet. So you know that you can trust them to transparently run every aspect of your life. The less you know, the better. GMO foods are healthy. Otherwise, why would they sell them? Isn't there someone who is supposed to take care of that for you? You obviously can't be trusted to make an important decision, like what is healthy for you to eat or what isn't. Grid power never goes down, and if it does, it comes right back up. Your money is too valuable to the mega corporation utility companies to ever let anything disrupt your consumption, even for a moment. What happened to those people in Northern California will never happen to you. Banks and real estate agents would never let you borrow beyond your means or buy a house that is too expensive for your income, subjecting you to a life of virtual slavery to pay off an exorbitant mortgage. After all, banks are the embodiment of humility. Just look at those modest skyscrapers that they build for themselves or the expensive mansions owned by their executives. These people have your best interests at heart and are not driven by money in any way. News and the media live for the truth and their multi-million dollar incomes are just a small bonus for the real reward of keeping the population updated and informed on relevant news. The newest political finger pointing is of course of the utmost importance to your daily life. At least until next week, when the next big thing comes along and the events of this week are almost entirely forgotten. You can trust things you're told, especially the ones that keep you scared and keep you in line.
What motivation could they possibly have to lie? 7. You have no idea where your food really comes from. Isn't picking food from plants potentially dangerous? Food comes from stores, that's all you need to know. The idea that you can go from almost nothing to a full pantry over a summer is suspect. How do you expect things to grow without large tractors to plow, chemical fertilizers to nurture, and gallons of pesticides to protect? Gardening is the most expensive way to get a pound of cucumbers, especially after all the bags of potting soil, starts, and special gardening clothes you have to buy. Don't you know that people die from things, and that food is among those things? So you better not step beyond your bounds. ConAgra may not keep us healthy, but they will keep us alive, and that's all you need to know. So what do you think? Is off-grid really all it's cracked up to be? Let me know if I missed anything in the comments, and subscribe for more off-grid content. And thanks for joining us here on Off-Grid Permaculture.